From an insufferable man in Bentleyville, Ohio, who thought he was above the law, and a 65-year-old woman who took off because she didn't want to pay an $80 ticket, to an angry mother in Oklahoma that had no interest in listening to anything the police had to say, and much more. Here are some of the best moments of police versus road rage drivers. Addison Tisch and the Bentleyville, Ohio Police Department know each other very well. The 23-year-old man first encountered police in early 2022 when they stopped him for a traffic violation. Then, on May 11th, the same Bentleyville police officer pulled him over again for driving with expired tags. The pair recognized each other immediately. Let's just say Addison wasn't happy to see our officer's face again. Hello, how are you doing? I'm Sergeant Cartwright, Bentleyville Police. The reason I'm stopping you is your tags are expired on this vehicle. I'm working on it. Okay, do you have a driver's license proof insurance? No. You don't have a driver's license or insurance on you? Okay. Go ahead. <clears throat> are you the registered owner? Zero four five zero four four. You are. Really you do own it too. Are we really doing this again? What? I, why do this again? I what just got a job, dude. I'm just beginning to make money. What's your What's your social? Can I leave? No. What's your social? I guess okay. I won't go to work tomorrow. <clears throat> what's What's your social? Is that the case? Are you going to give me your social or not? Can you answer the question? What's that? No. What's your Are you question? going to work tomorrow? That's up to you. I don't know. What's your social? You're harassing me. What's your social? You chose to harass me. You What's your social? You What's your name? Nice What's your day. Name? I'm having a nice day. Just leave. Okay. What's your name? I'm nameless. Okay. I'm an illegal immigrant in this country. Okay. Last name is Tish, right? No. You don't know me, remember? Oh, I don't remember. I just can't remember your name exactly. All right, hold still. Back in his cruiser, our officer learns why Addison is acting so dodgy. He was driving on a suspended license and had an active warrant from the Cleveland Metro Parks Police Department. Armed with this information and a traffic ticket, our officer walks back to Addison's car, this time with backup. Have you step out of the vehicle for me, okay? Why, dude? Because vehicle's got to get towed. You're suspended. You're you have a warrant out of the Metro Parks. You're a monster. No, call me what you will, all right? Get but it, still, get, you can't hey, drive can you, can you suspended. Can you absorb that instead of being like all... No, it's all absorbed, you. all right? So we're going to have you step out for me, all right? Is there anything you need in the vehicle? I need the vehicle itself. Well, you can get that out once it becomes valid. All right. I don't even have You're not the registered owner. Yet, You're not the right. Why? Let me ask you something. Why are you driving then? You're not driving to work. You're driving because to I the park. Life. Calm down. I have a life. All right. Leave me alone. Leave me well, alone. I have hobbies. I have people. I okay. Like to see. Well, other people have to register a vehicle. Why makes you different than anybody else? Why? Why is why are you special and everybody else has to obey rules? It's Can you tell about, me that? It's not about the rules. What, what is it about then? It's about the rules being wrong. Okay, well, don't take that up with me. You take that up with your legislature. Call uh, the governor for all I care. I don't make the, the rules, all you care. okay? Can I go? I no. Be left alone. You have to I step out of the vehicle. Alone. Dude. Listen, you got to step out of the vehicle, okay? I'm not accepting and I have to explain that this. An offer. Well, I don't know what else to tell you. That's the only offer you're getting today. All right? No, I'm a human and I can be left alone. Listen, all right? We went through this before. You were Norm numerous times. You can't drive, you're suspended. Your mom can't drive. She's suspended, bro. And, and again, okay, that's not a my, a my problem. That's a your problem. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive of that. All right. Your mom can't drive. She's suspended, bro. Might be the worst comeback of the 2020s thus far. As you can imagine, things only went south from there. Addison refused to comply and continued on his tirade about how the rules don't apply to him. Then they tried to take him out of the car, and Addison put up a fight. All right, Addison, we're going to have to step out of the car for me, all right? Bro, I want you to drag me out of the car. We're not going to drag you out of the car, because then you're going to have to go to jail. I'm going to sit here. You're going to go to jail, all right? Don't do that. Don't do that. You're just compounding your issues. Do you have a life? Okay? No, I don't. Apparently, I don't, okay? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure of that, okay? You know the things you do? Yeah. 
family, people you see, people you know, people Got you didn't nobody. know. Got nobody. It's just me, by myself. Why don't, why don't you call a friend or a family member right now to come pick you up, and then it can all... I can even give you a courtesy ride right back up to your mom's. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Well, we're doing the best we can here, okay? The best you can do is not enough. Oh, and, and the best, what your best you can do is just let you drive away and just no, never to bother you. Yes. Just free to go, do whatever yeah. you want, right? That would be nice. It doesn't work that way, Edison, all right? So, don't, don't man, these are my let go of my, these are my possessions. you're about to go to jail. These are my you possessions. You want to go to jail? Do you want to go to jail? I'm asking you. Do you want to go to jail? Right now. Either step out the car now. What's the option, bro? What's the other option? The option is getting out of the car and you go home. Or I don't live in Solon. You can. I don't care where you live. Talk call a friend. Call a friend. 2 a.m., dude. Okay, well, get your mom here. I'll even drive you to your mom's. You can you can arrange a a, a, a run. You're in the wrong. All right, here. step out the car. Are you gonna get out the car? Pull me out of the car. Are you gonna get Pull out of the car? Out of the car? All right, dude. come on. Pull me out. All right. Pull me out, bro. Push me out. Pull me You're out. gonna get tased. Ooh, 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 ooh. You're gonna go to jail. Stop it. You understand me? This is your only. What did I do to you guys? Dude, I'm giving you one last warning, what Addison. Do you guys? Addison, step this out of the car. Thing. Stop acting like a child. Get out of the car. You're being a child. Okay? Get out of the car. I'll explain the citation and your options once you get out of the car. Nice Step out of the car. Bro. Nice Look, elbow grab, bro. Stop Listen, out, of the car. out of the car. Are you out of the car with us, or we have to take you to jail? Right. We don't I don't want to take you to jail. jail. So the other option is my car is gone. It's towed, and you get it later. Right. I don't get it later. You can get it later when it gets towed. No, I can't. It's either that, or you get arrested right now. And we do not want to arrest you right now. We're don't want to arrest you. So what's the alternative? Well, come on out the car so we can talk that about the alternative. alternatives. That's not the alternative. So All you're right? towing my car. Your car's going to be towed, yeah. Wrong. Right, Whether it's going to be towed. Or not, your car's getting towed. Step out of the car, Addison. Step out of the car. Police are messed up. Dude, we ha listen, believe me when I say we are working with you more than most police officers would be. Right. I disagree. I it's strongly do. You would be you would be tased by now. All right. What is that? Had enough. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go to jail. Step out of the car. Come on tight, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Step Pull out of the car, up, bro. Yeah. Step out of the car. Stop Pull being like this. Arm, bro. You know you just made me sit in a hot car. My oh, that's unfortunate. Hard. It's really unfortunate, Addison. You're you really fortunate. need to grow You're up. Fortunate I have you really, you, bro. you really Can need I tell to you grow that? up. Can I tell you, you that? You really need to grow up. Knock it. Yeah. Eye for an eye, brother. Oh. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad. You're fortunate. Knock it off. Holy cow. Joy. This guy. Unbelievable. Radio 7907, check up. Look at all those scratch marks. Now Addison could add vandalism and destruction of public property to his growing list of charges, which already included driving under suspension and driving with expired plates. According to the police report, he continued causing problems at the station. He allegedly refused fingerprinting and broke a computer mouse. At that point, they left him alone in the holding cell until he calmed down. But this wasn't the end of Addison's story, not by a long shot. On February 16th of 2023, police in Aurora, Ohio pulled him over again for allegedly driving without two lights displayed. Once again, Addison refused to comply when officers tried talking to him. And don't worry, he's just as insufferable this time around. If I have to tell you one more time, put, put your hands up on the steering wheel. I don't care what you're okay with. How about you just listen? How about don't assume I'm a violent person right off the bat? Heads on the wheel. Oh, he's fidgety. He's going to kill us, right? You're driving around in a tank. Open the door. 
Open the door. Oh, Open the door. We got another one, guys. Instead of complying, Addison decided to lay on his horn and fight with the arresting officers. For the sake of your ears, we're gonna skip over this part. Let's just say he made things way more difficult than they needed to be. Yeah, I got into a fight with a cop. Step up. Get out of the f car. 45 and a 35, right? Get out of the car. Come on, I'll tell man. you one more time. Get out of the car. Now! Why did you guys pull up so f hot? Get out of the f car. Why did you pull up so hot, dude? So aggressive! Can you, uh, get those behind his back? He moves his tase him. Yeah, I know you would. <sighs> Once again, Addison didn't think the rules applied to him. He was arrested and charged with driving under suspension, resisting arrest, and possession of LSD. They also tacked on assaulting an officer after he threw several kicks and punches at police. Then, just when things couldn't get any worse, he tried to bite our arresting officer. You're suspended. Oh, you want to bite me? You'd like that, wouldn't you? Well, you're already going for assault. Give you a good reason to assault right, me on. again, bro. Let's go. Who's over right here? Who's in charge here? Who's going to talk about it? Hopefully, Addison learned his lesson this time. If not, we'll probably see him again in 2024. Maine State Trooper Stephen Murray might be the most patient police officer we've ever seen. On July 16th of 1992, he pulled over a motorist in Lincoln, Maine for allegedly going 29 miles per hour over the speed limit. He approached the car and was berated by the angry driver. But instead of escalating the situation or arguing back with the man, Trooper Murray remained calm, cool, and collected. Can I explain it to you, sir, so yeah. you'll know what you need to do? I know what I do. You're ripping me off, and I didn't deserve it because I didn't do nothing wrong. You'll probably set that pack of water driving right back and forth, get someone in the 40 miles of whatever the frig it is. I never saw the sign. I saw it 55, and I was doing 57. That's all I know. Now just give me the goddamn thing and I'll look at the date. If I'm working, I'll pay the fine because I can't afford to take a day off. And if I'm not working, I'll plead not guilty because I know well I'm not guilty. There. Now, are you a state or local? Looks like you're a state trooper. Get back and pick up some more guys and run up the friggin' deficit on, 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 on the working man. Just give me the damn thing and let me get out of here. What I need you to do is sign the X so I can explain this to you. If you thought the driver was mad now, just wait until he hears the price of the ticket. All right, just tell me what I do. Lincoln Court? No. Where? Read the instructions here. This says you have 20 days to respond to this. His card apparently expired six days prior, though he claims his wife was kind enough to pay it that morning because he's dead broke. Cost of living has gone up. My paycheck has gone down because we gave up no time on Sunday. Our insurance went up twenty dollars a week two weeks ago, twenty to forty dollars a week, and, and and that's what's happening in the last eight ten years to the whole country. They've shut down the industry. They've figured cut pay. Insurance has gone up, but there is hope. And I'm going to watch it tonight when Bill Clinton gives us an acceptance. The man's name, but according to one source, he skipped his court date and had his license suspended. As the story goes, Trooper Murray waited two years to show this video to his supervisors as he didn't see anything noteworthy in it. Ever On July 16th of 2019, 65-year-old Deborah Hamill learned a valuable lesson about the right to remain silent. She had just been pulled over in Cashin, Oklahoma for driving with a broken tail light and a busted up tailgate. Now, normally, a broken brake light will come with a warning, assuming it's the first time you've been stopped. How else are you supposed to know it's not working? 
Deborah would have likely gotten away with it, but she proceeded to tell the officer that she'd been driving around like that for six months. She thought it was a good excuse. Instead, it wound up earning her an $80 ticket. Well, I did issue a, for a defective equipment. It's $80. Uh, you have till September what? 16th to take care of this. Uh, get you to sign there with the excess. So you don't even give a warning for this? You've been driving around for six months like that. I'm truthful. Well, I'm not going to give you a warning for something you've been driving for six months. But you, you've seen me in here. You've seen me in no, town. I, I haven't. You had to have been up here. Nope. Either way, I'm issuing you a citation. Sign there, please. Well, I don't want to sign it because I don't want to do $80. You don't want to sign it? No, because I don't think that I deserve to pay $80 for something that is fixable and I can fix it. All right. That's all you want Go ahead and step out of the car. Why? Because you're under arrest. Step no, out. Step out of the vehicle. No, I'm not. Step out. No. Step out. I'm giving you a lawful order to step out. You be fair with me and I'll be fair with you. Step out. No. You're under arrest. No, I'm not. I'm placing you under no. arrest. Step you out. You are full of because you're not placing me under no damn arrest. Step out. No, I'm not. 305, no, 303. Do not, do not oh, take shut off. Shut up and give me that and I'll sign it. Step out. No. no we're beyond that. You want Step me to out. Our officer jumped back in his cruiser and followed Deborah as she pulled into an oil facility down the road. All she had to do was sign the ticket and fight it in court. Instead, she wound up getting tased and arrested. Get out of the car! 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 You better leave me! Put your hands behind your back! Leave me alone! Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Lay down and put your hands behind your back. Now. No, you will not. You're going to get it again. Did he have to taser a 65-year-old woman? Probably not. Did she escalate the situation and dig herself into a deeper hole? Absolutely. After a minute or so, the two become chummy and our officer helps her to her feet. Here. Go ahead, go ahead and roll to your, roll to your back. All right, it's on your butt. I'm Are you hurt? Yeah, I'm hurt. What hurts? Everything. All right, I got EMS on the way to St. Titan. You got a what on the way? I got ambulance on the way to check you out. Ambulance? I don't need an ambulance. Well, you got tased, so they got to check you out. Well, can you just stand me up? Yeah. Oh, I'm hip. Wait, oh, don't do the arm that way. Well, how do you want me to hold you up? I don't know. Why can you, you get me in front? How about you just lean up against my leg, all right? Lean up against your leg? Yeah. Wait for them to get here. Now wait for them to get here. Can you pick me up? Yeah, if you don't mind, help me get her up. There we go. Come on over here. Yeah, it's in force. She's in custody. How long has this truck been around here like that? Sir, you guys go stand over there. Sign a ticket. Deborah was charged with resisting arrest, battery, and assaulting a police officer. 
According to court documents, she allegedly kicked him in the groin, which prompted our officer to use his taser. Her lawyer had some choice words regarding the officer's use of force, saying, The thought that a 65-year-old woman needed to be tased and arrested for not signing a ticket offends common notions of decency. His unnecessary escalation and use of force served no purpose other than to torment and embarrass Miss Hamill. She ultimately pleaded guilty to four misdemeanor charges, each carrying a $50 fine. In the end, she got tasered and paid $200 for what should have been an $80 ticket. June 1st of 2023. A Good Samaritan in Flagler County, Florida was driving by the racetrack gas station on SR100 East when he saw a truck stuck on a fire hydrant. The driver was slumped over and water was gushing out and flooding the road. He pulled over and helped the 52-year-old man out of his car. He begged him not to call 911, and for good reason. The driver, Frank Clement Jr., was, in his own words, effed up. He seemed calm and compliant when the Flagler County Sheriff's Department arrived. He even admitted to being drunk behind the wheel. But then, out of nowhere, things escalated, and Mr. Clement wound up with a mouthful of mud. You don't know? Uh, good sir, it's just, yeah, I'm not working the crowd. No, seriously? You want to know if you're strong? I don't know if you're strong. He was, he was too. Come on, Bubba. Can I see you? Uh, All right, I know. Uh, I know. Today. Sit back over there. What? Stop. Put your hands on Stop. Don't put your hands on you, fat fuck. Keep me, you fat fuck. Get the f down. Turn over. I'm sorry, man. 226, I need a chance. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. Stop resisting. I am. Put your hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. All right. All right. All right. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. Oh, that's so sorry. God damn it, you. 226. All oh, right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bubba, I ain't doing that to you like that. Uh huh. Hey, God damn, I'm bad. I'm you just bad. grabbed my nuts. If I did, I'm so sorry. According to the arrest report, Clement reached for our deputy's private parts and began squeezing and twisting. This caused the officer immense pain and resulted in Clement being charged with aggravated battery. Once he calmed down, officers determined that Clement was too drunk for field sobriety tests. Paramedics arrived and took him to the hospital to treat a wound over his left eye. They released him a few hours later, at which point deputies booked him into county jail. Now, this wasn't the first time Clement had gotten in trouble for drunk driving either. A year prior, he crashed his truck on Seminole Woods Boulevard, not far from where he crashed in this video. Officers arrested him, and he was sentenced to six months probation for DUI. He then violated that probation when he crashed into the fire hydrant and assaulted an officer. According to Sheila Bingham, her young daughter was in the middle of a medical emergency. She didn't appreciate being pulled over for speeding when, as she claims, everyone else was speeding too. It was October 26th of 2023. An Oklahoma City police officer walked up to her window and asked for her license and registration. She hesitated at first, claiming she didn't have it on her. But then, it magically appeared out of nowhere, and she handed it over. That's when Sheila starts talking about her daughter's medical emergency and speeds away.
For a fleeing suspect, Sheila does a good job of obeying traffic laws. She drives the speed limit, obeys traffic signals, and even uses her blinker. Eventually, she pulls into a gas station, and things escalate from there. Eastbound brat pulling into the gas station. Get out of the car. I'm not. Get, get away from car. me. I told you my daughter's having a emergency. I understand that. I told you I'd request EMSA. No. You we're cannot run from the We believe the redacted audio is because her minor daughter was speaking. The poor girl is probably panicking as police try to arrest her unruly mother. Meanwhile, she accuses our officer of trafficking all the dope in here and keeps saying, we don't contract with you, whatever that means. Go with me, man. Ma'am? Let go of me. No, let go. Let go with me. I'm not getting out of my car. I'm not going to get out. I'm not getting out of the car. I don't have to. Dude, I'm not getting out. I guess we'll just remain here because I'm not getting out of my car and you're not jerking me out. So you can go write your citation and I'm going to get my daughter some food. We're past that now, so you decided to run. I didn't run, man. I don't contract with you. I okay. gave you what you asked for and I asked you to come on because I have to get her food. I wasn't speeding. What's up, man? Oh, you know. You know, trying to get people that Thank we you. actually traffic with. You're a trafficker, and you've got me here breaking my arm. Because you probably traffic all the dope in here, don't you? Okay, I'm asking you to let go of my arm. I'm asking you to let my go. Right now. Please let go. No, ma'am. I'm not letting go. You're okay. going to get out of the vehicle. Eventually, another officer shows up, and they both struggle to get Sheila out of the car. Unfortunately, the video ends before they placed her in cuffs. According to local reports, the police finally arrested her while EMS tended to her daughter. They said the girl seemed perfectly fine, and it's likely Sheila fabricated this medical emergency to try and get out of a traffic ticket. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.